Which then we do. <laughs> well, I hope so. I'll do my best. <laughs> it also comes with, with 50 years of life experience. Yeah. Yeah, so. Well, we must give it to her. She doesn't look 40 at oh, all, yeah. hey? By the way, right? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> What we have to give is great as well. With a lot of these few grey hairs I have here. Yeah, for it's, sure. It's from 12 years of marriage. <laughs> Oh, wow. And uh, I found myself in this position a couple of years ago um, mm -hmm. where I was, you know, having to, to stop being a stay at home mom and be, become a business owner, mm -hmm. right? Or start something that I'm passionate about. And, mm -hmm. and lots of people always told me, because I'm quite an extroverted person, lots of people said, you know, Trisha, you are so capable. Yeah. You, know? um, yeah. you can do so much with your life. You can, you know, you can influence people in yeah. such a great way. Mm -hmm. Because of who you are and your personality. And the idea is to also empower Avandu Alvarez now. So we're here today just to say thank you. You've been with us for a while. You know? So literally we just wanted to come back and say thank, thank you. you. So today is nothing just to say thank, thank you. you. So that's the first thing. So we want to present to you something that we want to say thank you about. But before we do that, we just want to hear from you. How's been your experience with the BNL accommodation and transport for the years that you've been here? And what is it that you are studying? That's what we want to hear from you. I'll just be here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I think the experience I mean, has been great since mm -hmm. the first year, 2019. I'm issues with my issues. I think it's time to see how I'm going So, experience I mean, I think. Experience and media rights because you can suck and the good thing we are calling I think you are calling when it's hard to have it when you transport because it's a conversation and that's not your mama open line so you are calling it to take a for sure. So transport was very helpful for you. It was something that you really loved. Yeah, yeah. And if I may ask, what is it that you're studying? Uh, teaching and social sciences, community development, Okay. Did you? Is there a way when? Did you receive the information about writing to this one? Let me info at yourcapable.com. Okay. But in, in actual fact, you can write to us, info at your .com. The whole point is that you will be able to, you never know, and we'll be speaking to a lot of students and letting them know, which is, you never know, you could be linked up to sponsors, right? Work opportunities, mouth data, those things are open. So in as much as you write to us, but we thought it's time to actually help to go out and speak to you guys about it. Because our opportunities are corner. But at times people don't know about them mm. at all. So we just want to let you know something like that is there. Do write to us. But for today we're here to say, say thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. So what we would like to present to you is an accommodation mm. voucher. Right, yeah. So <laughs> you'll be getting a discount of your rental. Really? Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> to subscribe right over there uh, and hit that notification bell so that you can get notifications for our future videos yeah. um, and welcome yes so i'm your lovely host and right over there is the awesome husband awesome husband <laughs> mr bulelani in Dibele over here oh wow oh. <laughs> the twang <laughs> Yeah, I had to take it there, <laughs> take it back to private school. But my amazing wife as well, Londega, came right here. Yes, we've got a special guest today. 
um, our lovely life coach, uh, Trisha Puna. I'll just allow her to introduce herself. Hi guys, I'm Trisha Puna and I'm a life transformation coach. My business name is True North Life Coaching and it's such a privilege to be part of this journey with you guys. Sure. Thank you so much for including me. I am so happy to be here and mm. doing this with you guys as well. Yeah, we are humble. Exactly, <laughs> we, we're so happy to have you on the show and we really do appreciate your presence here. Yeah. Thank you so much. And I'm sure our viewers will gain a lot from you being here. Yeah. I mean, she has way more knowledge than we do. <laughs> well, I hope so. I'll do my best. <laughs> it also comes with 50 years of life experience. Yeah. yeah so. Well, we must give it to her. She doesn't look 40 at all. Yeah, by right? the way, right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to give credit as well. <laughs> With a lot of these few gray hairs I have here. <laughs> yeah, for it's, sure. It's from 12 years of marriage. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so yeah, no, definitely welcome, Trisha. Um, so we wanted to remind you guys about the foundation as well. Let's remember to support each other in terms of the guys that have just finished my trick. Let's remember to support these guys if you're a sponsor. Uh, there's a lot of guys I'm sure that you'll see from the videos and the uh, podcasts that we're doing that are literally asking for opportunities out there. So we help in that we link them up. Disclaimer, we don't provide the jobs. We don't provide the opportunities. But in actual fact, the whole podcast and this whole platform is to open up those doors for these people. So yeah, today we have an interesting topic to chat with you about. Um, so we want to just unpack you're capable. Um, so what's your take in terms of you're capable? So, you know, I, I just absolutely love this this topic. And, you know, when you guys told me that you're going to be doing, uh, the, you, you know, the whole podcast is about you are capable. Mm. It makes me think about what does that actually mean? Yeah. You know, you are capable. If someone tells me that, I'm like, okay, mm. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know? Exactly. Yeah. Like, but, but, and, and I, I found myself in this position a couple of years ago um, mm -hmm. where I was you know, having to, to stop being a stay-at-home mom and yeah. be, become a business owner, mm -hmm. right? Or start something that I'm passionate about. And, mm -hmm. and lots of people always talk, because I'm quite an extroverted person, lots of people said, you know, Trisha, you are so capable. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. You can do so much with your life. You can, mm. you know, you can influence people in yeah. such a great way mm. because of who you are and your personality. Sure. But until... I believed it up here mm. Mm. until I realized that I'm, I am actually capable, mm. you know, um, that's when my journey started for mm. me. Mm. Yeah. And I took the steps necessary to figure out who I am sure. mm. and most importantly to let go yeah. of all the negative things that people have told me in my past mm. that made me believe that I couldn't actually do it. Mm. So obviously you get people that say, oh, you are capable, you can do it. Yeah. But then there's also those others that made you feel like, mm, or made me feel yeah. like, mm. can I actually do it? Yeah. 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 I think we experience a lot of that. I think, as you said, it all starts up here in the mind. I mean, with a lot of things that we experience throughout our lives, you know, um, even when it comes to beauty, a lot of people do not know. Well, some people may not believe that, you know what, I'm beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because in their mind, it's yes. not there. So yeah. I think that it's the same thing with us and being able to do things in life and us being capable. Mm -hmm. That we need to start believing 100%. and thinking that, okay, I can actually do this, you know, as you said, someone may just come and say you are capable and I'm just like, okay, thank you yeah. mm. and stuff. So I just want us to um, maybe just share what the phrase you are capable means to each one of us, you yeah. know, I'll start with myself. Um, for me, you are capable. It means that, um, you know, first of all, God created me yeah. as I'm a human, I'm a whole human being yeah. and I lack nothing. Yeah. I mean, I've got everything that I need. Mm. Um, so for me, firstly, it just means that, you know, being mm. God's creation sure. and I'm perfect in the way that he's made me. Mm. Um, it also goes on to the fact that um, 
or as we've mentioned even in our previous episodes, that we base a lot of our beliefs on the Christian belief. Yeah. You know, um, when God says that I have given you authority to rule over everything yeah. um, on earth and, you know, to subdue everything. Yeah. So for me, what it says to me is I've got power. Yeah. I've got authority. Yeah. And then um, I can do it all. You know, yeah. there's nothing that I'm unable to do. Yes. You know, if I tell myself this is what I'm going to do, yeah. I can do it. I mean, God has given me the power, has given me the authority, mm. has given me the capability to do it. Mm. So for me, that's what it means. It also boils down to the fact that, um, you know, my past as well, mm. I don't feel like it matters, you know, um, in terms of the things that I've gone through. Sure. I feel like I am able to overcome whatever that has happened. Because, I mean, we don't get to decide where we are born, mm. who who our parents are, what country we're from. But I mean, we can take charge of our lives as we grow, as we explore different things and yeah. find out, you know, we'll discover ourselves, if I can yeah. put it that way. Yeah. And I love so that. Good. I love yeah. that because we've got to take responsibility. of The moment you start taking responsibility of your life, yeah. owning it and not mm. becoming a victim of it, yeah. is the moment you start to experience this incredible life that you mm. Mm. can create for yourself sure. exactly sure. exactly no for sure so for me definitely capability comes more on the side of i'm looking at my life and the inner person mm. to say it's it's i encourage myself from what i see on the inside and therefore that protrudes to the outside yes. you know because i think at times the whole point of us starting this whole thing was that we need to look at our inner selves Mm. And that's got to translate to the outside. Yeah. And in, in, in all honesty, one thing I think I've realized as I'm growing as well is that you realize that a lot of people around you at times might actually not agree with what you see on the inside. Mm. So it's up to actually you to say you are capable. You need to remember that you are capable. You know, I need to remind myself every day that I am capable. And that's it. Yeah. It's setting moment by moment intentions in your life. Yeah. Mm. Because you... You're never going to be like 100% all the time. Sure. Yes, sure. yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But, you know, I love what you said about the fact that, you know, the way you see yourself is what uh, you want others to see the same thing about mm. you. Yeah. Mm. But it's, it's, and that brings up to perception, yeah. mm. you know, um, about how you see yourself. That's all that matters, to be honest, because sure. you're yeah. never going to win everybody mm, mm. Yeah, yeah i mean everyone has their own opinion sure you know <laughs> for me i also say you know what i'm not money you know i don't expect everyone to like me yeah. it's okay uh, <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah, so I... It definitely is one of those. So in terms of, obviously, Trisha, um, just to point this back at you, in terms of if I believe with what we've spoken about and what we understand is you're capable, yeah. if I believe that I'm something, you know, on the inside and I want to achieve these great things, yeah. do you think your past actually affects how you see yourself in the future? Um, Bululani, unfortunately, it really, really does. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of people are stuck in their lives because they aren't able to let go of mm. what they've experienced in their past. Yeah. And it's very much a part of who you are, mm. you know. Um, and, and that's why I'm so passionate about what I do as a life coach. Sure. It's because I want people to look at the now. Mm. You know, um, in order for them to move forward in their lives, um, mm. they do have to let go of their past. It doesn't, um, it, it should not be or become who mm. you are. Yes. You know, yes. Um, every one of us has a past. Yeah. Mm. Every one of us. And, and my past to your past is mm. completely different. And I think what's important mm. is to realize that you know, our past, the people that were in it, that mm. influenced us in our lives, our parents, our teachers, um, the people that may have told us that we were not capable. Yeah. Right? Yes. They, they didn't do it maliciously. Sure. Mm. You know, they were doing uh, what they were brought up to do. Sure. You know, yeah. they were doing 
they were working with what they had. Mm. You know, they had their own beliefs, mm. you know, and maybe they were projecting it onto us. Yeah. And that's the reality. It's it's mm. not who you are. Mm. It's sure. just a moment in your life that you experience. That's so yeah. good. And it shouldn't define the way you see yourself and the way you move forward. Mm. Yeah. You know? But how do I snap out of it? Let's say I'm someone who didn't do well at school. Mm. Yes. You know, um, I've seen in situations where the parent will even tell the child, you're so stupid, mm. you know, because you're unable to perform well, like other kids, for example, at school. Mm. So you find that a person grows up with that mentality mentality that I'm stupid yes mm. I'm not good enough yes I'm not good enough you know um, I'm a failure yes you know but what steps can one take to actually snap out of that mm. you know and start believing in themselves start believing in their capability sure. as a human being and as well so that would be my second question you know I feel like as well we base a lot of our success on education, yes. mm. whereas it's not everyone who's able to do well in school. Sure. Yes. So, oh, for, I love that. <laughs> mm. yeah, for such a person, because you know, you feel stupid because you just never got the most amazing grades. Mm. Mm. Yeah, and you just grow with that. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um, so, I'm going to tack on the first point you mentioned, which was um, about how do you snap out of it? Mm. Yeah. yeah. How do you, uh, the first thing is that you've got to take, you've got to take ownership. Mm. You have to want to make that change in your life. Sure. Yeah. yeah. You want to have want to have a better life for yourself, mm. right? And um, in order to do that, the moment you make that decision mm. that I am going to take my life in my own hands, yeah. sure. that is the first step. That mm. is the first step towards courage. Mm. You know. Yeah. And we have. I think I mentioned the last time we have these levels of consciousness. Mm. You know, where you have. Fear, guilt, shame, all mm. of these are bringing you down in your life. These are negative emotions, emotions yeah. that are bringing negative energy in your life. Mm. And the moment you choose to change that, the moment you choose to step out of that, mm. those levels, mm. that's when it's courage. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And you start taking ownership and you start taking. Mm. Um, and I'm, as a life coach, I can, you know, I want to say I can help you achieve that because mm. that's when you start living your life for who you are sure, right sure. Okay. right but you know in terms of that as i said take the step take mm. the courage mm. to start saying i am ready to take my life in the yeah. direction i want despite what has happened to me in my sure, past sure. Mm. Right? Starts there, eh? it yeah. starts there it yeah. starts taking that first step mm. and then the moment you start thinking positive thoughts mm. you start thinking i can do this i yeah. am capable mm. um you start attracting the right sure. people into your exactly. life sure. right exactly. sure. i mean look at you guys mm. okay. you know the moment you decided i want to have a side hustle <laughs> yeah because yeah. you were down your path you know mm. you were working in good jobs and stuff like that but mm. you decided you needed more mm. you wanted more that's for your life, life yeah. and that's when you came to us <laughs> and we helped you in the way we could sure. to get to you to, to, to make you see that you could do this, you could do yeah. that. Mm. How can I do this? Yeah. Right? You start talking. You start mm. talking to yeah. the right people. Yeah. 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 So what I'm picking up for this is um, it all boils down, boils down basically to that particular individual mm. that as a person, I need to make that step. Yes. Basically, there's no one who's going to come and sure. just rescue me and be like, hey, mm. I'm about to change your life. Yeah. So the onus is on me to actually yeah. make the change. Mm that I want to yes. implement in my life. I'm also picking that up to say that, you know what, you emit the energy and the change you want to be in mm. your life, you know? You've got to emit that energy. I yes. love that. Mm. That's, you start attracting yes. the right people. Mm. And we've seen it happening in our lives, mm. I'm sure. And we're quite grateful. As we mentioned, guys, this is our, oh, this is one of our mentors. Yes. So literally, I love what you just said there. Mm. Very powerful in terms of that. Now, in terms of, if you think about it, Trisha, I've, I've made the decision, right? Yeah. Someone's listening and saying, I've made the decision. Yes. I believe I am capable. Yes. But then there's always voices of people that are always saying, and how do I develop that character, you know, that character to say, I want to do this, regardless of what people are saying. Yeah. Mm. You know, yeah. You, you, as you always get people around you yeah. that will say, oh, but what if it doesn't work out? Mm. Or, you know, what about leaving your family? You know, yeah. as, when I decided to, as I said, I was a stay-at-home mom at one point, mm. which I chose for myself. Mm -hmm. um, and then I wanted to do this live coaching. And, 
And you know, I, obviously there's a part of me that felt guilty sure. for leaving my kids. And mm. then there's another part of me that wants to be successful. Yeah. You know, so we always have, no matter who you are and in what, what, mm. what's your journey, sure. you're all going to be going through the same thing in your life. Yeah. 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 Yes, you yes, can be true. wanting to move forward and your partner doesn't want to. Sure. You know, there's, there's multiple dynamics, mm. you know. And the reality is that in order for you to be able to, to drone out these voices, whether it's your own or somebody mm. else's, yeah. is to be true to what you want to achieve. Mm. Mm. Yeah? You have to be able to be determined mm. to stick on your path, sure. despite the influences the that, and the noise, the yeah. outside noises mm. that you have. Yeah. So have a plan, mm. you know, yeah. and get the help that you need to, to go down this path. Sure. Mm. Sure. You know, for me personally, you know, if for me to become who I was, mm. I invested in myself. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm, to good. learn. Mm. I I went for for my own coaching. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To to become who I wanted to be, to become so the good. best version of yeah. Trisha in mm. terms of what I wanted to achieve in my life. Mm. Wow. Right. Mm. So I went. I invested. I spent thousands of rands. Sure. I mean. That's money, obviously, I have to recoup in some other way. <laughs> you know, I have to yeah. give up other stuff in yeah, my life. Yeah. But it's because I was willing to invest in myself. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about that for a second, because I feel like we were talking about that yeah. when we were driving here today to the podcast. Literally, that part of it, I think is very important. That mm. sacrificing now yes. for like future, gra- future gratification, you know, mm. taking those, especially for us as young people as well, I think it's important mm. to start now, right? Yes, you know exactly. I mean? exactly. Now, yeah. What's your thought around that? You so know? I also want to bring into what you said mm-hmm. yeah. about, you know, everyone's journey is so different. Sure. Yeah. Some people can be academically on point. Sure. Mm-hmm. Other people may not be be in that position to do so yeah. and you know i i want to sh- share my own journey sure. you know mm-hmm. um, so guys i don't have a degree mm-hmm. okay oh, wow. I, I don't have a degree mm-hmm. i have multiple qualifications but she's so successful <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea but she's so wow. successful i mean yeah you know i never had uh, i've got multiple diplomas mm-hmm. but i never got a degree and then south africa it, you know you are made to feel like you have to have a degree mm-hmm. to be yes. successful yes. In that. Yes. and don't get me wrong please yeah. go and get that degree <laughs> because it is maybe my mm. only regret yeah. in life that i didn't get that degree because yeah. unfortunately you do need it yeah. however it has not stopped me from mm. achieving mm. so much in my life. And wow. I'm not, guys. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> my parents, um, my dad was a uh, single income owner, uh, yeah. a single income earner, yeah. right? Yes. right? He was yes. the only person to bring be able income. to to bring okay. income into our homes. Mm. Um, and he was a teacher, mm. right? And it was five of us. Mm. Um, so he had to provide with what he could, mm. right? And it obviously allowed, it made my, my brother and I and then we've had another brother, but he was 10 years later, so he was afforded greater things as time goes by. But my, my, mm. my brother that's after me, with this mm. year, a year and a half gap, we paid for our own studies because he wow. couldn't, my father couldn't afford to send us to university. Wow. I love that. Mm. Yeah? I love that. And so I studied what I could with mm. what I had. Mm. And my brother, it took him a three year course, it took him six years because he studied and mm-hmm. worked at the same time to pay sure. his own studies. Yeah. Sure. Um, but I had other ambitions. I wanted to travel the world. Mm. Um, So I studied, I Mm -hmm. worked for a couple of months, and when I earned enough income, I took it to go and live over in the U.S. Mm. And that's my journey. You know, I earned money in the U.S., and that's how I went to the U.K. And, Mm. you know, but but what was the thread? Mm -hmm. Was that I was determined. Sure. Mm. I was determined to Mm. live a life that I chose for myself. And that was to experience the world. Sure. Wow. Sure. Right? So if you don't mind sharing, maybe I can just ask you for someone who's listening to this Mm. and um, they're probably like, oh, she was able to find her own education. I mean, what did you do um, in terms of jobs that you were working at the time to pay for your tuition? Mm. Yeah. So I stuck to what I knew. Mm. So I grew up, my dad's a physical education, well now he's an athletics coach, <laughs> but, but, but sport has mm. always been what I was, you know, brought up well, with yeah. experiencing mm. and, and, and teaching 
um, how to be a, a fitness person. You know, okay. I, I mentioned that in my last podcast, yes, I was a fitness yes. trainer. So it's my go-to. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So I worked at the Health and Racket Club as a fitness instructor. Yeah. Um, and so that's how I earned wow. money sure. to be able, and I studied, obviously I studied to become a fitness trainer. Yeah. And sure. That's how yeah. I led into my next part of my chapter in my yeah. life. But I I, I started with what I knew. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. That's so powerful. That is so powerful mm. because I think as well in this podcast, we advocate for using the resources that we have yeah. at yeah. that particular moment. I mean, just try and grab and see what's mm. there, what's available at this particular moment yeah. that I can use, you know, to better my life. That's yeah. so true. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you are in your life, where you started, mm. you know, what you're... It's never too late mm. to start your journey. It's mm. never sure. too late. I mean, I'm doing this now. I'm 40, guys. Sure. You know, at, 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 at this time in my life, I'm still discovering myself. Sure. And wow. My journey. wow. But I've used everything I experienced mm. in my life to be able to be in front of you and helping you in your journey. Mm. Because that's what life's about sure. it's never too late to wow. learn something new it's yeah? never too yeah. late that is so powerful i mean for me personally i'm also learning not to be complacent sure. i mean yeah. um yeah it's very important that we keep on developing ourselves and i don't yeah getting and learning new things exactly as well. getting and i love what you just mentioned like for me that's why i was like thank you like the whole thing around we always discuss about mm. this as well we kind of feel as a young generation especially when we speak to each other you always pick up that I want to do something. I believe I'm capable to do this. That's what people always talk about. Yeah. Mm. But the challenge is, I, I feel like I don't have the money or I don't have... But at times, the skills... I love what you just said. Mm. The skills of... The skill set you already have mm. can actually be the thing that you work with mm. to start what you want to start mm. at that point. It doesn't have to be something that's super amazing. Yeah. You know, it, it, it can be anything that you feel like is a gift Mm. It's something that you are used to doing around you, mm. you know, to make that extra buck to actually start investing in yourself in, as well. And that's the key, you know. I mean, we can always um, find the money to buy that Nike shoe. Sure. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, you know it's what so I mean? True. It's yeah. so true. We, can, we find mm. the money to buy that gold necklace yeah. or I mean, whatever. For example, we all have smartphones. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I mean... I lost mine recently <laughs> and I realized the price of one and I was, sure. I was gobsmacked at how much it cost to yeah. buy a new phone. Yeah. But, and it was painful, it was really painful, yeah. but you need it, sure. right? Yeah. Sure. yeah. So when you realize that you have a need and mm. a desire for something, you sure. will go out you and go get, get it. it. Yes. Sure. Right. Oh, so wow. it's about what you value in your life. Mm. What you prioritize. What you do. prioritize wow. in your life. Wow. And that's yeah. the reality. And you will never, ch- let me tell you, you're not going to change until mm. you are ready to change. Sure. Until you are ready to prioritize you. you. Mm. Wow. I love that. I totally love that. And I think we definitely have unpacked what you're capable yeah. and what it means to each of us. We've got a couple of people that wrote to us as well. And thank you so much for writing to us, guys. So we are obviously going to go through some of the things yes. and more of Ask a Life Coach because we've got a Life Coach with us <laughs> We've got an today. expert, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to give you my biased opinion, eh? I'm just telling you that now. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not going to delve into the names. So Anonymous, yeah is asking you know it's more of a relationship question to say i'm in a relationship but i actually want to start a business yeah my partner is kind of holding me back from starting the business but i'm in that relationship and i want yeah. the relationship to work yeah. and the business to work yeah. what's your sort of uh, sort of talk around that or advice around that Look, it's a tough one when it's got to be two people yeah. because there are two individuals that are together, yeah. you know. Um, you, the person that is wanting to start the business, mm-hmm. um, they're obviously far off in their journey. They are, you know, ready to go. Yeah. Um, the other person may be experiencing fears, yeah. you know, um, because they have their own journey. Mm-hmm. Maybe the reason why there's that tug of war is because mm-hmm. the other person is Fearful, you know, mm-hmm. fearful of failure, fearful sure. of taking that risk, mm-hmm. fearful of their lives changing, mm-hmm. you know. You don't know uh, what the dynamic is. In terms of where one wants to move forward and the other doesn't, maybe you guys need to have that conversation, mm-hmm. you know. Ask, you know, instead of wanting, like, you know, um, I don't know how, what, what did they say, Bulalani, in terms of why they're not moving forward? What was the, the conversation that they were having? Or yeah. 
were they having uh, did the person mention any reason as to why what's yeah. happening in the relationship when they do want to move forward yeah so they just mentioned that it usually becomes a problem you know what i mean like yeah. it's, it's a bit of a fight you it's know a what fight I mean? yeah. yeah look yeah. there's a reason why the fight is happening sure mm. so they need to figure out uh, why she needs to communicate mm. communication in a relationship is massive guys sure. yeah. you know um i'm sure you know even with you guys my, my husband's not here but yeah. with you two i'm sure when one of you wants to do something yeah um mm-hmm. you have an idea right and you want to execute it when you're in a relationship it takes two to tangle you sure. know yes. it takes two people to have to make it want to work mm. um what would you do if blondeka was like you know not wanting to uh, she's not uh, wanting to to take part in this mm. what are you going to think yeah you're yeah. going to think why don't they go why yeah, are you yeah, wanting to exactly, do it exactly yeah? exactly what's holding you back, back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah and that's the reality yeah. because as much as you want to move forward if the other person is pulling on the brakes so, mm-hmm. it means that there's something that's going that's on yeah. in their yeah. mind yeah. that's making them want to put on the brakes hmm. Yeah. So that other person as well from what I'm picking up from you it's also them believing that they're capable as well. Yes. Mm. So so one of you is possibly believing that you're capable the one yeah. that's driving forward yeah. Yeah. and and they are in a right position to do so because clearly they are determined mm. um but then the other person doesn't mean that they don't want to do it. Yeah. It just means that they need to figure out what's holding them back from doing it. Sure. Okay. Right? Sure. And you know in terms of with life coaching um often when a person is being held back from what they want to achieve mm. it's because they're experiencing some form of fear yeah. um, right. or self doubts mm. mm. all right and okay. um, that's preventing them from taking that next step in their lives mm. um because of maybe what they've been told you mm. know you, know, you don't know what their journey yeah. is yeah. and it's not because they don't want to mm. yeah they want to be there with you yeah. but they need to address what's holding what's them holding back, back. Yeah. yeah so yeah The next one, the next anonymous, has actually got an interesting question. Mm. How do I maintain a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> I love this one. I love it. Well, in in what in what sense, money wise? I mean, <laughs> may, maybe the guy beat. can't keep up. You know, <laughs> how do you maintain a relationship? I love it. Uh, uh, <laughs> I as I said that I'm married for 12 years. It's hard. <laughs> There's no getting around it. It is it's probably one of the most hardest yeah. things you can achieve in your life. Yeah. 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 Um I would say that it's again it's going to come down to communication. Mm, sure. Yeah. 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 Right? Um and also knowing when to cut your losses, guys. Yeah. Like let's be honest. Mm. Um I think the most important it's got to be with um you need to value the same things. Sure. You need to okay. want the same things in your relationship yeah. mm-hmm. and you want to be able to drive it forward and it's something that I truly admire about the two of you. Sure. Mm-hmm. You know the reason that this person is asked this question is because they can see the dynamic that you two have. Sure. Um I'm sure your relationship's not perfect. Yeah. Yes, 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 it's not. <laughs> well, in my head it is. <laughs> also in my head. <laughs> I don't know, like you're well, right. Perfect means different for different people. <laughs> Maybe my perfect is not perfect. <laughs> and and you know like even with my husband mm. and I even though we've been married for so long we have god I can't I can't tell you how many times we've fought because yeah. we are chalk and cheese sure. in every way. Sure. I am an extrovert I can talk for days. He yeah. wants to be like please girl stop talking. <laughs> right? I have an opinion about something. Yeah. He has an opinion about something. Sure. We sometimes mm. I'm like I don't know why we're together. Yeah. Like seriously like because you know yeah, we both yeah, have yeah, our no, own dynamic. True. That's yeah. true. And, but what has kept us together mm. is that I see the good in him. Sure. Mm. Yeah. Um I see the things that he is trying to achieve yeah. in our in our family in our mm. relationship. Um I'm hoping he sees the same thing. <laughs> I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. Yeah, he does. Sure I, I think I'm thinking he's for my king. I don't know. <laughs> But how do you keep the relationship alive? Is yeah. my hard work. Thank you so much for writing to us. We love to engage with you guys. I hope what we've shared with you it's our experiences as a disclaimer again we hope that assists you as well. And always remember that you, you are capable, capable.